What's up everybody? My name's NinjaCam and welcome back to What Would His Team Be? A video series to explain my opinion on who I believe a person or character's team should consist of. Except for this week because this week is weird because this week is supposed to be like a continuation of a couple weeks ago when I did Ruby and Weiss and whatever. So um, <clears throat> a couple things real quick. Uh, yeah, so everything's been going to shit recently. For those who are weird enough to actually still be watching this YouTube account, I don't know why you would be. Uh, I haven't uploaded anything like in. I think I didn't upload anything like last week. And there were a couple things with me and Zagger that were um, uploaded, but not me by myself, unless I did, and I totally forgot about it, which isn't really something that isn't too. What's the word I'm looking for? That's a normal thing that happens. I always forget shit. But there was actually a very good reason as to why nothing got uploaded, or nothing's been being uploaded. Um, I've been going to the dentist a lot recently, <clears throat> and last week I couldn't do my Tuesday video due to the fact that the entire left side of my mouth was completely numb. So I couldn't really talk or anything without completely screwing up and biting my tongue and my lip and everything. I was trying to get a friend to help me, but she wouldn't do it, and I was trying to get another friend to help me, but I don't think he understood. And then I try to get Zyger to help me, but that bitch won't fucking answer his goddamn phones! He's not over there, I'm just screaming randomly. So, yeah, so I wasn't able to get anything up, and then Thursday it's, I couldn't record any videos. My computer was being a whore, like it usually is. So that kind of just left whatever the hell we put up Friday, and I don't think. I don't even know if we put anything up Friday. No, we. Yeah, we did. We put up a blooper thing, I think. I think, cause I think last Friday I went back to Zygers for a little bit, so we record, we could, so we could record some things. Those are the words I want to use. So yeah, um, I actually have a full blown script this time though, but it's actually for somebody else. So if things seem weird or a little off, that's the reason. It was supposed to be for my friend. Um, but yeah. So for those who don't watch the series, um. When I did Ruby and Wise, I only I did both of them at the same time, and I didn't give them full teams. I only gave them three Pokemon each. This I'm gonna do the exact same thing for um, Blake and Yang. Yes. Anyway, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start. Uh, please note that I think of these in a more realistic point of view, not just the video game scenarios where Pokemon are extremely limited. Okay, the first character we're gonna be doing is, well, of course, Blake Belladonna. Hey, I said that right. I usually screw that up somehow. Okay, so Blake is a cat faunus and the third member of Ruby. Uh, she typically displays a cool, reserved, and typically serious attitude, but has a fun side to her too. Her semblance allows her to create shadow clones. These clones can be used by Blake to either distract, shield, or hide herself from the enemy for a brief moment of time. The first Pokemon list is Zoroark. Zoroark is a pure dark type and is known as the Illusion Fox Pokemon. And this Pokemon is chosen for its ability to manipulate illusions as a reference to uh, Blake Shadow's clo Shadow Clones. Plus, it's black fur. It has black fur, which is good since that's Blake's main color. I think it, I think that's even actually what Blake means. I think it's like some other language for black. And also, Zoroark is rather beastly creature, which could be a reference to how Blake is supposed to be based off um, Bell from Beauty and the Beast. Which is weird. I don't think it's based off of. I think it's elude or something. There's a different word they use for it. I don't know. Anyway, but yeah. So she's supposed to be based off, you know, the Beauty and the Beast, like most of the characters from Ruby in this series, who uh, their references to fairy tales of sorts. Uh, the second one on the list is Lipard. I hope I'm saying that right. Lipard is a pure dark type. It is known as the Cruel Pokemon. Uh, Lipard is a reference to Blake being a cat faunus. Which, actually, for those of y'all who don't know, faunuses are like half human, half certain animal. I'm doing that thing where I put my head up very far again for no reason. Um, yeah, faunuses are half human, half animals. You know. I'm sure you, I'm sure you probably got that, but just in case you didn't. Blake's final Pokemon is Superior. Superior is a pure grass type. It is known as the Regal Pokemon. Now, this is kind of a weird one, so you have to stick with me till the very, very end of it before you actually understand where I'm going with it. Okay, so... Superior is a reference to Blake's weapon, Gamble Shroud. I don't think I said that right. I don't even think I spelled that right. Anyway, it's a weapon classified as a variant ballistic chain scythe. Sounds so badass. It can be used 
as a single blade if you keep the sheath on it you can use it I don't want to say like a machete specifically but in that sort of way um, if you take the sheath off though the sheath can also be used as a blade and so and there's a sword underneath it too so it can be used as two swords and she also has a ribbon that's attached to it which can do multiple things like it's elastic enough to be used like a slingshot and strong enough um, to be used like a grappling hook um, she can also use it as a gun just like various weapons in this series um, but she usually uses it as swords and this is the word I, it said on the freaking page that they were describing it as a kisser kisserigama I want to say that's it kisserigama probably if you ever watch Soul Leader it's the thing Blackstar has which is why yeah so yeah that's why I chose um, superior since you know it can use its body it can use their bodies like whips and their t and like tail their tails like swords you know it's got multiple ways of using itself <laughs> that sounds wrong <laughs> moving on the last member of team ruby is yang zhao long a triple energetic and bright young woman capable of destroying everything in her path <laughs> it's awesome when she starts fighting it's so cool um her semblance lets her absorb the energy from every blow she takes to make herself more powerful. Um, basic, as, basically, as I personally could put it, is like she absorbs kinetic energy, then uses it to turn Super Saiyan and redirect Saiyan energy against her opponents. It's kind of weird. And when I say Super Saiyan, I mean literally Super Saiyan. Like her hair goes all on fire and shit. And then she just gets more badass. It's really cool. Um, the Pokemon, the first Pokemon I chose for her is Beedrill. Beedrill is a bug and poison type. It is known as the Poison Bee Pokemon. Uh, I chose this one based off a couple of things. First of all is the similar color scheme it has with Yang. Since both of them are black and yellow. Yes. Um, that and Beedrill's main power so to speak comes from its needle arms whereas yang her main fighting style basically comes from just punching everybody in the face till they pass out that's literally her main battle strategy like it's punch until they die it's really cool so i just and since you know beedrill has those thingies where a lot of its main um like twin needle like those kind of things pin needles like a lot of his main moves or whatever comes from the needle it's needle arms so it's upper appendages their upper appendages is what they have in common sure yeah why the fuck not the second Pokemon I chose for um Yang is of course Hitmonchan Hitmonchan is a pure fighting type and is known as the punching Pokemon which should kind of prove why I chose this Pokemon It's basically the same one as last one Yang loves to punch people a lot she really likes punching people oh maybe I shouldn't say people actually yeah I should just say people she likes to punch things punching is her life if anyone were to ask her what her mood would be she would say I'm feeling punchy her final Pokemon is Ursaring Ursaring is a pure normal type and is known as the hibernator Pokemon Ursaring is a reference to the fact that Yang alludes to Goldilocks and the three bears which I never really totally completely 100% understood I mean like don't get me wrong I'm not gonna say it's I mean it makes more sense than it would Rapunzel it's just kind of weird to me I don't know I mean I, I understand why because you know gold hair Goldilocks all that it's just kind of weird I don't know I never I, I ain't gonna mess with it too much I'm, I'm not the fucking writer of that particular series I write all other types plus I write all other types of really weird shit my phone is asking me to solve its problem Okay, so yeah, I, uh, that, that's all of them. That's it. That was Blake and Yang. That's her name. Jesus Christ, I just got finished doing her part and I totally fucking forgot. Okay, so, um, wow, I don't have anything now for the next part. I'm not, okay, yeah, so I don't have anything now for the next, this is the next part. Even when I try to, um, go off script a little bit and explain them at the very end, it's, I, I uh, have at least a little something I could bring up, but the thing is, again, this script was not made for me. It was made for somebody else. So all it says here is that I should be back to do things next week, which I guess technically I am because this is next week. I hope, I think, maybe. I don't fucking know. But yeah, um, 
hopefully next time I should be doing Jean and Pyrrha from Team Juniper. Um, yes. And I know it's weird that I'm doing Jean and Pyrrha, probably to, the, to those who know the series. Um, the teams are made out of, like, the team names are made out of the names of the members in a certain order. For Team Ruby, it's Ruby, you know, the main character Ruby, the lead team leader Ruby, and then it's YSW, it's B, Blake, and then Y, Yang, so that's spelled Ruby. Um, for the next team I'm gonna do, it's their Team Juniper, which is J, N, P, R. And I'm doing Jean and Pyrrha, and if you fucking don't, you didn't fucking hear me, it's J, N, P, R, so I'm doing Jean, and I'm doing Pyrrha, not right next to each other. That's because, um, Jean and Pyrrha, I actually like them better as a couple, for Pyrrha. And then next time I'm going to be doing uh, Nora and Ren because I think those two make a great couple too. I'm, ca I'm kind of doing this in like if in the same way of which I never mind. Fuck you. Again, nothing put down here. Uh, yeah, and I like Yang fights. That's all. So yeah. <clears throat> if you found this video pleasurable in any way, then please leave a like or a comment down below. If you thought it was cool, first go get checked out Mental Institute, then subscribe for more. Me and my friends do video games, top tens, and other fun shit. And by me and my friends, I mean me and Zyre. Nobody else seems to want to be friends with us anymore. And that's it for today. Yeah. I, was gonna, I thought I was going to say something else. I totally fucking froze up there. Hopefully I cut that out. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.